Hello everyone, this is Mayank Sanghvi from vlamon.com and I'm back with another Power BI tutorial video and in this video we will learn how to download and install Power BI on Windows machine. For this video, we are going to refer this blog post. Blog post URL is available in the description of this video or you can click on this notification icon. This video is the first video in our Power BI tutorial series. After this video, we will learn about Microsoft Power BI desktop user interface. In this video, we will cover how to download and install Power BI for Windows 10, Windows 8.1 and Windows 7 user. So let's start. First, we are going to download and install Power BI on Windows 10 machine. For Windows 10, the installation is very simple. First, you need to click on this download url button it is going to open the download url in new window so let me quickly copy this link and i want to open this inside edge so this is the download page for microsoft power bi for windows 10 user we have two options to download and install power bi the first one for personal group or online training contact us the first option is we can use Microsoft Store to download and install Microsoft Power BI. Alternative, you can click on advanced download option and then you can download the MSI installer. So I'm going to demonstrate both the one. For the first method, I'm going to click on this download button. Once we are going to click on this, we are going to redirect on Microsoft Store. Here, we need to click on this get button. Click on the get button, then Microsoft Store is going to download Power BI for us and then it is going to install Power BI on our Windows 10 machine. It's very simple. Our download is completed successfully. Next, I want to launch it. For this, I am going to click on this launch button. And finally, this is Power BI desktop. So let me quickly close this. The alternate third, you can download the MSI installer. For this, you can click on this advanced download option. We redirected on another page. Here we have option to download Microsoft Power BI. So let me select language. I'm fine with the English language. If you want to change any other language, feel free to change. Okay. Once done, click on download button. On this dialog box, we need to select the download. Right now we have two options. The first option is for 32 bit machine and the second option is for 64 bit machine. Okay, so based on your machine, download the appropriate file. For me, I'm using a Windows 64, 64 bit machine. So that's why I'm going to download the second one. So let me quickly share my machine architecture with you. So I'm going to click on, I think it is available. Okay, so let me go up. Let me open this PC and then I'm going to select computer and then I'm going to select system properties and I'm using a Windows 10 installation 64 bit operating system x64 best processor. Okay, so that's why I'm going to use the second file. Okay, but for you if here 32 bit is mentioned, then if here 32 bit is mentioned, then you need to download the first one download the appropriate file then click on next save this pbi desktop underscore x64.msi installer and then use it to install power bi desktop on your machine to install power bi desktop using a dot msi file is similar with the steps we are going to discuss in windows 8.1 our file is downloaded successfully click on run button to launch the power bi desktop installation wizard okay so this is microsoft power bi desktop installation wizard the first thing we need to click on next then we need to accept the license term and agreement finally we need to click on next then if you want to change the location feel free to change the location for example i want to install this in d drive so i'm going to change the path to d drive and then i'm going to click on next okay so I don't want to change the directory. I am just demonstrating you how to change the directory. Okay, I'm fine with this path. Let me click on next. 
And then this is the installation summary. If you don't want to create a desktop shortcut, then uncheck this and then click on install button. Once you are going to click on install button, the installation wizard is going to install Power BI desktop on your Windows 10 machine. But for this video, I am not going to reinstall Power BI desktop using MSI installer. Why? Because we already installed Microsoft Power BI desktop with Microsoft Store. Now I am not going to recommend it use msi installer in case of windows 10 why because we can use microsoft store to install power bi desktop on our windows 10 machine another benefit to use microsoft store is your application or power bi desktop is going to automatically update if any update is available in case of msi installer we need to manually update the power bi desktop so that's why i'm going to recommend it please only install power bi desktop using Microsoft Store for Windows 10 user. Click on cancel to close the installation wizard. Yes, definitely I want to cancel. Finally, I'm to click on this finish button to close the installation wizard. Now let's see how to download and install Microsoft Power BI desktop on Windows 8.1 machine. For this, I'm going to open Windows 8.1 machine. And this is my Windows 8.1 machine. First thing, I'm going to open the download page and then we are going to click on download button after this save the installer and once the download is complete double click on the installer to launch it so this is power bi desktop installation wizard welcome window click on next then we need to accept the license term click on i accept checkbox and then click on next again we need to select the installation location select the installation location then click on next if you don't want a desktop shortcut uncheck the checkbox and then click on install button for me i want a desktop shortcut so that's why i'm not going to uncheck it so let me click on install button and now wait for the installation to complete if user account controller ask for your permission click on yes Finally, my installation is completed successfully. Installation complete window. On this, we have a checkbox to launch the Power BI desktop. If you don't want to launch Power BI desktop, uncheck it. Finally, to close the installation wizard, click on finish. If the checkbox to launch Power BI desktop is checked, then after clicking the finish button, the installer is going to launch the Power BI desktop. Finally, the installation is completed successfully. And this is Power BI Desktop. Finally, we need to check how to download and install Power BI on Windows 7. So this is my Windows 7 machine. Now to download Power BI Desktop on Windows 7, we need to fulfill some prerequisite. For this, let me quickly open my blog post. Okay, now first thing we need to download the download and install .NET Framework 4.5. And then we need to install Internet Explorer 9 or higher one. So I already have the setups for .NET Framework 4.5 and Internet Explorer 9. I'm going to install both. Right now I did not share the download URL for .NET Framework 4.5 and Internet Explorer. But after recording this video, I'm going to update my blog post. Okay, you can find the download link on my blog post. Let me quickly install .NET Framework 4.5 and Internet Explorer. Finally, .NET Framework 4.5 and Internet Explorer 9 installation is completed successfully. Next thing I'm going to click, I'm going to open, I'm going to open Power BI desktop download page. So I'm going to copy this URL and then finally I'm going to open it inside my Firefox browser. Next thing we are going to click on this download button. Again the same thing. We need to save this Power BI desktop underscore x64.msa file. Once the download is complete, launch this installer file. Now 
Now this is the installation wizard home screen. Click on next. Then we need to accept the license term. Check the checkbox and then click on next. Finally, I don't want to change the installation path because for this VM, I already have a single drive, C drive. So that's why I don't want to change or I'm not able to change because for me, I already have a single drive. Okay, so let me, I'm fine with the installation path. Let me click on next. And finally, this is the installation summary. Again, if you don't want to create a desktop shortcut, uncheck the checkbox and then click on solve button. Now wait for the installation to complete. And finally, our installation is completed successfully. This is the final window for installation wizard. Again, if you don't want to launch Microsoft Power BI desktop, uncheck this checkbox and then click on finish. Finally, our Microsoft Power BI desktop is installed successfully on Windows 7 machine. So finally, we learned how to download and install Power BI desktop on Windows 10, 8.1 and 7 machine. What is next? In our next video, we will learn graphical user interface for Power BI. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy this video. If you like this video, don't forget to click on like, subscribe, share it with everyone, provide your feedback and see you all in next Power BI tutorial video. Some important URLs.